we're going to look at how to graph two polynomials today and how we can use the graph in the table to help us find roots. So the first one we're going to do is listed there, y equals x cubed plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. You select y equals top left on your calculator and you look for the x variable key, which is next to your colored keys and you select that and we're doing cubed. So for exponents higher than 2 we use the caret key and then type the exponent. Now your calculator may put the 3 in the exponent position and not show the caret key. If that's the case you will need to use your right arrow key to get out of the exponent position before you type in plus 2x squared. So we're going to type plus 2x squared, you can use the squared key or the caret key, minus x minus 2. Make sure you're using the minus key and not the negative key guys, okay, unless the number is um, the leading coefficient is negative. Then we hit graph, top right, and we get a picture of what this looks like. Now if we only need a picture, we have it right here. If we're asked to graph it on our own though, on graph paper, or we're asked to factor it, um, you can use the table to look for roots. So we're going to go to second, and we're going to go to graph, so we can get the table, and you'll see a list here of x and y values. You can use your arrow keys to scroll up and down through the table. Now what we're looking for is we are looking for y values of 0, because if we find y values of 0 we know we have roots. Roots are x-intercepts. So that means that we have three of them. So look at your highest exponent for your polynomial. If it's a 3 and you see three zeros in the y column, that means you have all three of your roots. So you can actually write the factored answer from here, um, but if you have a highest exponent of 3 and only one y value of 0, and make sure you do scroll up and down a little bit to look for others, then you have to go through the steps we talked about in class to factor or to graph. So what we're going to do is take those roots, and I'm going to show you quickly what that's going to look like. So we will have bring it back on the screen here. We have roots of negative 2, negative 1, and 1. So again if you see it on the screen there we had those roots where we had y values of 0 we're at negative 2, negative 1, and 1. So what you can do from there is you can write the factors. The factor of um, for a root of negative 2 is plus 2 factor for a root of negative 1 is x plus 1, and the, the factor for the root x equals 1 is x minus 1. So there you have your factored answer. I want to show you one more very quickly so you can see what I'm talking about with the, all the roots um, not being listed. So we're going to go back to y equals, and we're going to clear this right below your arrow keys, and you're going to type x caret 3 minus 3 x squared minus 5x plus 15. Hit graph and go to your table. Second graph. And if we go up, up through, down through, looking for zeros in the y column, you see a zero right here when x is 3. Okay? And I don't see any others. Well, my highest exponent here is a 3, so that means that I have to go through the steps of factoring that we talked about in class, because all I know is one of the three roots that I need. So x equals 3 is a root, but I don't know any others, and I'll have to go through the steps um, of synthetic division and factoring to get my answer.